Hey guys, Epic Pokemon TCG here, and today I have another deck profile for you guys. And uh, before we get, before I get into the list, <clears throat> this is going to be the list used by Kevin Baxter to make the top eight in the Wisconsin regionals. Um, I actually didn't get a chance to ask Kevin if I want, if I could make a video over this, but uh, it's pretty much all over the internet. Um, I'm not trying to make, or I'm, I'm not trying to claim any like fame or nothing for this deck. Um, I'm just. I've had a lot of fun since I built this and been playing with it and everything, and uh, I played it a lot at my league. And if you guys saw that, you know, the league videos were pretty short for week six. It's because I was playing this list so much, I had a ball. So I'm gonna go over the list, talk about why I use some cards and uh, all that jazz. So let's get into it. So pretty much the main attacker is Zark. It's got the Brutal Bash attack, and uh, for a double color list, it does 20 times or yeah, it does 20 times the number of dark Pokemon you have in play. Um, so you have just a your whole field full of dark Pokemon. You're gonna be hitting for 120. It's a 100 HP stage one, and um, it's a one prize attacker that can hit really hard, really fast. So this is a really cool card. Um, I kind of overlooked it whenever. The Dark Explorer set came out. I believe that's when it came out. Yeah. But, um, pretty much, uh, you know, this card hasn't seen, like, an absolute crap ton of play. Pretty much, you know, it's just been Dark Ride, Eva Tall, but, uh, he found a way to make this work, and he did really well with it, so congrats to him. And, uh, coming up next, we have four Zorua. Um, this Zora was actually really interesting. It has the Ascension attack, and pretty much if you start with this and you're going first or second, it doesn't really matter. But um, if you go first with this, you know you're going to get the Evolve in your second turn. But if you're going second with, you know, and you start with this, you're going to get the just immediately Evolve. So that's pretty good. Um, pretty much this is just in here to Evolve into Zorark and add extra damage on your field. So it's pretty good. Next up, we have. Two Evital EX. Now, Evital is going to be in here just for another attacker. It's an amazing card, you know, it just can hit for a lot of damage really fast. And, you know, a lot of decks have problems with it. And, uh, you know, also it's going to add more damage to Brutal Bash. But uh, actually, I just remembered uh, Zorak actually has a second attack, uh, Dark Rush. Um, I think it's. Yeah, um, if your opponent only hits this for 90. And you use the Dark Rush attack, you're going to be hitting for 180, so remember that. I, I actually forgot that attack a lot of times when I was playing this past weekend. But, um, yeah, uh, Evital's in here just, you know, for an extra attacker and add up damage, and it's all around a fantastic card. Um, so, the next card is pretty much the same reasoning, but, you know, it has some extra in there. Uh, it's a, it's a really decent, it's a really good attacker, and it's, um, it's going to give you the um, free retreat effect with Dark Cloak, and also, you know, it's going to add extra damage in. Um, sorry if I'm not all hyper and jiggery, guys. It's like 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> but anyway, um, next up, we have two Sableye. Uh, you know, this is a great card. You know, Junk Hunt, uh, it's still good. I, I think it's still good. And, uh, you know, it's going to add extra damage, and it's, you know, he plays two level balls, so it's easily searchable. Then to top it off, we have... Uh, the Pokemon with Dark Patch, basically. Uh, the regular Evital, this is also going to be a safeguard attacker. Like, I mean, like you need one, but um, it's got Oblivion Wing. You know, you can get it a Dark out of your or out of your discard pile and touch one of your Pokemon. It's going to add extra damage, and you know what this card does. Next, we have pretty much the draw support of the deck, which I actually found really interesting. Um, first off, he plays four Juniper, pretty standard. Uh, discard your hand, draw seven. And then, uh, this is where he kind of like stirred off from everyone else. Uh, he plays three in, three Colrus. Uh, Colrus, I actually think, actually works really well in this deck because you're, it's really easy to just, you know, load up your field really fast. So you're going to be drawing high amounts of, you know, cards with this. Plus, you know, you got to take, take into account what your opponent's going to be drawing. And then, three in. Um, I found that I'm taking prizes really, really quickly. And um, 
any of my opponent down, like any of my opponent out of cards, you know, is like pretty much not that as irrelevant because I'm attacking with a one prize attacker. So, you know, I, I feel like this is a really good support line, and then just to kind of, you know, top it off, he puts, he put in three random receiver. It's going to help you get all of this. So, I, I, I really like this draw engine. It really worked for me. Um, I rarely dead drawed with it. So, and then. Place four dark patch. You guys know what that does. <clears throat> Take a dark out of your discard pile. It's the same as Oblivion Wing. And uh, you know, okay. So pretty much Zorark isn't hitting and like, isn't hitting enough. Like for enough, I mean, 120. That's all good. But um, you're not really taking out those big, gigantic EX attackers really fast. But he plays it, two Silver Bangle, two Muscle Man, and then he plays three Hypnotic Laser. Um, if you have a full field. And you have a silver mangle that's going to be 140, and then this will add it into 170. And if you have a silver mangle, that's 150, and then 180. So you're going to be hitting a lot of magic numbers. And uh, so, I mean, it, it's pretty much just really easy just to take these prizes. Um, for search cards, he plays three Ultra Ball, two Level Ball. Um, Ultra Ball is going to get you anything, and it's going to get darks into yeah, the dark energy, the discard pile. Um, Level Ball is going to search out your Zorua, your Sableyes. So, it's a really good card here. Two is actually a really good number, I found. Um, then he got really cool with this. Uh, he plays two Escape Rope. Pretty much the Escape Rope's in here, you know, in case you have something active that just you don't want active or your opponent does. And um, if, you're, if you have, if you could like, pick off really easy, like prizes and stuff on the bench that your opponent might have. Uh, you can just escape rope out, but I mean, there's a lot of ways you can use escape rope. Um, it's really cool. And then we have a professor's ladder just to get uh, energies to your hand. And then his ace back of choice was computer search. I uh, can get pretty much anything out of the deck, and I found you know it was really really useful because you know I was able to get I was able to get you know the key cards like muscle band, bangle, or laser. You know just to add up to that special magic number just to knock out stuff. And then he plays two Verbanks, uh, you know, just for the laser and, you know, just to counter your opponent's stadiums. And then he played eight dark, I believe. And I played eight dark and then three DCE. So, all around, I really, really like this list. Um, like I said, I've, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, I actually haven't had fun in Pokemon with a list or with a deck in a long time. So, you know, if Kevin Baxter does watch this, I hope he does, but anyway, uh, this is an awesome list, Kevin. Uh, congratulations to how well you did, you know, it's awesome to see a unique deck, you know, doing really well in the Pokemon community. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, I'll probably, I'm going to try to get some more deck profiles up for you guys soon, because it was brought to my attention that I have a Pokemon TCG channel, and I don't have a lot of TCG stuff up, and I'm kind of, kind of running dry lately. So I'm going to try to have some more deck profiles up for you guys, especially with the Flash Fire release. Um, there's some openings and a set review. I'm going to link those in the description below. And this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out.